Hey bodybuilding fans, Andrew Bardew here at the conclusion of the OCB No Gear Classic in Greensboro, North Carolina. And I'm standing here with the Marshall Johnson. Um, Marshall, you guest posed and actually judged this show as well. Um, I know you and William Powell, the promoter, have been friends for quite some time. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how you guys became friends and uh, you know some mm -hmm. backstory behind that? Sure. Actually, it's, it's a great story because, uh, you know, doing uh, amateur bodybuilding shows and coming in and I decided to turn pro after a number of shows and went in some shows and first show I did was the Pro Bowl IFPA uh, play six had a shoulder injury coming in and uh, was really hiding my back I'd hit a pose and my wife says as a matter of fact she said I was I was taking a picture and I dropped the camera because I went where's his back <laughs> and you know my back is one of my my best everybody has their best assets you know things that come in and my back is one of those so if I was hiding it it was going to be one of those things that kind of took me out of that top you know maybe top five whatever at least I thought and sure enough I played six uh, we were a little disappointed I had the conditioning and and just trying to bring body parts up and things like that we were on our way out actually headed uh, you know the show was over play six uh, and uh, Will Powell, I did not know him. He was one of the judges, and uh, he ran down. If you've been to Richmond, those stairs are really steep. You come out the door, you have to go way down these stairs and around the corner. We were parked there and caught up with us and said, hey, I'm Will Powell, William Powell. I was one of the judges, and uh, just want to take a minute and talk to you. When you were posing, we couldn't see your back. And uh, Susie said, I told you, honey. He said, they were trying to move you around to get your back to pop out. Will said, if you'd have just stayed like this, when we said, you know, front lats or rear lats, if you just went like this, you'd have been fine. But when you went in this, I was coming up and over to, you know, kind of take the pressure off my shoulder. And for whatever reason, instead of the lats going like this, it went like this. Well, you know, it endeared me to him. I thought, well, this is great for this guy to run down, catch up with me, tell me that. And it just kind of changed my mindset. I just went, wow. And he said, you know, it probably cost you at least two places, maybe three. So at that point, I knew, wow, you know, my first show, I was in that top five. You know, I had made, you know, which is what I was hoping to do. So from that point on that I did, you know, a lot of shows that year, really to get better and dial it in. But that's where Will and I met and uh, realized that this is a genuinely good guy. I could just tell by his demeanor. So that that's the backdrop of our meeting. Mm -hmm. And um, I can definitely second that because uh, Will Powell was one of the first people I met in the sport uh, when I did the No Gear, which was my first show in uh, 2012. And uh, yeah, I've definitely, I've, I've, I can see how you guys get along because I can definitely say from meeting both of you, uh, both very humble and uh, definitely always willing to help out other athletes. And not to mention uh, pretty good bodybuilders. Yeah, yeah, uh, so yeah, you win yeah, a couple yeah, shows yeah, here and yeah, there, don't you? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Definitely. Uh, well, you guest post tonight. I know you've talked about um, with me a few shows that you might be doing in the in the future this year. Uh, can you tell the fans maybe about uh, what shows you're planning this year? Well, you know, I always keep things kind of low-key, but I, let me say this. I'll, I'm going to probably I'm gonna start out uh, in July, start out a little later this year, uh, the reason being because there's some great bodybuilders out there. Uh, they're targeting those, those shows and coming in right there at the last minute looking awesome. And, uh, you know, to – I, I found that a little bit of the density towards the end of the year last year was, was uh, not there. The, uh, the cuts were there, but not as deep. So we figured we'd wait a little bit longer and, uh, you know, hit the first show around July. So uh, there's a couple things I'm looking at, uh, whether I'll do uh, WNBF has opened their doors, IPA, they're reciprocating. Uh, they've got some awesome competitors over there. Everybody looks great. Uh, wherever the best is, and IPA has some great guys over here. We have, so it's, hey, let's get together. Let's get together and see where we all line up. See, uh, you know, get up against the best guys. You only get better, uh, and gals for that matter. So having said that, uh, there's two shows that are out there that I need to uh, do. One of, one of, I need to do one WMF show or whoever's going to do their worlds, unless you were in the money with them before is my understanding, or you're out of the country. Uh, they, want, they want you to do one of their pro shows in order to get ready for their worlds. Uh, so that may, so I backed my schedule up and I'll probably jump in there and do that just to qualify for their worlds and roll into that. Other than that, you know, I've got several shows on the agenda already had, which was, um, there's a couple in there I'm not quite sure about, but, um, you know, was probably going to roll into Kansas City um, International, probably go back and defend my title down there at the Georgia Cup. 
uh, the Pro Global, so I know it'll be some good, tough competition yeah. coming through there. Uh, and then we will we'll roll up to Gasperi, I'm sure. Great guys up there with James and Katie, just had a great time. And uh, the Yorton Cup, uh, coming back to D.C., uh, hometown area. You know, that's nice. going to be yeah. great this yeah. year. So looking for some really good competition. That's kind of in a nutshell. And there's a couple of little, okay, we may do this, could potentially roll into one or two that I'm not quite sure. It won't be 13 shows like last year. Uh, but, you know, as things change, it already jumped up to, you know, around that seven mark. And it's like, wow, you know, I was going to try to hold around five. But seven, you know, is, is, is certainly doable for me. And, um, and then if I don't, I've learned from last year how I want to tweak my diet. Getting towards the end, I did a little bit of keto stuff, just trying to see how it would work, but not trying to lose anything. But I found that what it did is it kind of took a little of the density back. So we won't do that. I'm just going to change things up a little bit and implement those, see how we come in. So tonight was good being able to uh, start dieting down when we'll ask. I just jumped into prep kind of right away to get down into that arena. So I was, you know, three or four pounds you know, away from hitting the stage and, uh, and then kind of see where I was and got some good compliments from Will. Man, you're, you're thicker here. You're bigger here. And I go, really? He goes, yeah. I go, well, that's wonderful. So that's, that's kind of on the agenda, you know, kind of in a nutshell. Things can change, but that's kind of the overview. Yeah. So basically you're going to be a little bit of everywhere. So I we might as well <laughs> keep our eyes out for your shows, yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, thank um, you. Thank you so and much. speaking of the uh, the guest posing, that will be on our channel, and I'll actually um, probably include it in this video. So at the end of this video, you can uh, definitely check that out. It's a very good guest posing. Uh, oh, well, definitely, uh, thank definitely thank fun you. to watch. Yeah, yeah. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk to you about: you recently became a sponsored athlete with Core Nutritionals. Um, I know just from talking to you, um, you know, since we've met, you've been a longtime user of Core Nutritionals products, and, and you know, I've always supported them prior to that. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about how maybe the sponsorship came about um, and, you know, anything else you might want to talk about now that you're, uh, you know, it's pretty recent. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, pretty recent and uh, just awesome. You know, we started out uh, three years ago, you know, when people know the story, some may not, you know, being off 10 years, hiatus, sabbatical, and then coming back to natural bodybuilding, uh, jumping in the, in the amateur divisions and realizing that there was a new breed of natural competitors really dialed it in these days and and then coming from there turning pro and seeing the level of competition you know meeting Doug Miller and, and all of those different things and um, you know so coming around and all of this happening you know the last three years has just been awesome but you know started using uh, core nutritional products really liked them you know the core fury the, the brand chain I mean those ABC's you know things like that core burn and then a couple other products that I'm just excited about Matter of fact, I told someone, I said, you know what, now that I'm a core sponsor, it's almost like I don't want to tell the guys about the core heart and core alpha and all that. I'm getting ready to stack, you know, because I want to keep it to myself. But, hey, I am going to start it next, you know, actually it's eight weeks, so I can start it probably tomorrow and we'll do an eight-week cycle. But at, at any rate, we, uh, we, we're getting some, some interest coming my way about um, maybe some sponsorships and things like that. And, and uh, I was kind of leaning and maybe not. And my wife said, honey, you really should go with somebody that you believe in and that you think has the product you use and all that. And it was uh, honestly what happened was I said, you know what, you're right. I said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and reach out to Doug. I'm going to throw something out there and I, I'm going to say, I, I sent him something. I said, hey, Doug, I said, uh, uh, this is kind of what's going on. And if you are considering picking up somebody to sponsor, I said, I'd like to be considered. And it was, it was really awesome because he, he sent something back and said, Marshall, we just want to let you know you're at the top of our list, <laughs> which was just like, wow. I told my wife and exciting, um, you know, let's get together. We couldn't quite connect and back and forth. And, it, you know, typically what supplement companies do, I understand, is, you know, they get you in an interview. You make sure you share the same philosophy about things, that you are a person of character, that you know, you're going to represent their company well. Um, and, you know, I thought I would. And uh, as we missed the opportunity to get together, um, Doug actually sent me something. And he said, you know what, let's try to get together to really just go over the paperwork. As far as we're concerned, we don't need to interview you, Marshall. We already know that where you are and where we are, that's a good fit. And that was just like, Susie, well, honey, you got to read this, you know. And he said, I talked to Stephanie and said, Marshall is looking to be sponsored. And that's his wife, Stephanie Millen. And uh, she said, Oh, absolutely. So it was just like, uh, and then we met, and, and uh, Doug and I had talked, but not talked in depth, and I realized we share a lot of things that 
philosophies about life and just generally being good, you know, people taking care of people, taking care of things, um, you know, and I said, you know what, yeah, this is a good fit. It's a good company. The product is good. And the people, you know, Cliff Wilson and, uh, you know, Carl and Paul Amy and, and, and Paul, oh, there's just, been, I'll, I'll miss names as I start mentioning them, but all these people I had met and uh, we, I realized we shared a lot of the same interest, just things, you know, how we think about things in some areas. So it was just a win-win situation, so huge, yeah. Um, you know, support, they support natural bodybuilding in a big way, sponsor the Yorton Cup, uh, as well as other things. I came down here uh, to guest pose, and, and uh, they said, hey, uh, I said, oh, by the way, sponsored by CORE, let me talk to Doug. Doug said, hey, yeah, I'll give a uh, solid product to, you know, all the winners, and we'll throw, uh, you know, some uh, samples in their bags which is really, really nice. You know, it gives you that, that uh, little extra, you know, that you can have. So, you know, big ups on them, um, support them, use their products, they're, they're just great. And uh, if you want to buy some Core Nutritionals products and try them out, uh, you can definitely go to Top Supplements online. Mm -hmm. My personal sponsor and employer, um, and we've, you know, we've got uh, obviously all of the Core products and uh, you can get them at a very good price. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely, if people ask me about supplements, that's one of the first companies I'll suggest, because like you said, um, the people are trustworthy. Uh, the more people I meet within the company, the more I can trust them. And the ingredients and the products mm -hmm. are, mm -hmm. you can you know you can rest assured that they're safe products. Um, and then that you were definitely a good catch because you know the time I've met you, um, I couldn't have picked a better person for them to choose. Um, well, you know to represent you. the company. So, um, so definitely congratulations. Yeah, even though yeah. I've, I've told you before, yeah, but congratulations yeah. on on all of that. And we look forward to watching you the rest of the year yeah, too. Yeah. Thanks again. Yeah.
always a pleasure coming down and sharing, you know, a time with you. Uh, the other thing with getting ready to guest pose, you know, sometimes we're not ready to step on stage, so we, we get started. And we try to pull it in and be, you know, look decent, but I quite where we are when we hit the stage for the show. Having said that, the, uh, this email, listen, that song, I actually changed my routine three days ago because I heard the song and said, you know, that's a really good song. It really reminds me of just struggles in life, you know. You're battling things, you're going through things, you know, you have a faith, but it just seems like you're always defeated. And uh, the song is talking about making war, not against people, but against the things that yeah. you have struggles with. Yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's right. right. That are difficult. That's right. You know what I'm saying? If you want to yell, you yell now. That's what we're yelling. Yeah. Yeah. And it was let the snow that we all go through struggles, we all have difficulties, we all fail, life, marriage, but you don't have to stay down. It's time to make war against the things that is destroying you, destroying your family, destroying your relationship. You know, it's about recognizing that and coming out against it hard. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really smiling. I'm typically a smile, but it's, it's make war on it. Go against yeah. it. Don't let anything defeat you. Yeah. That's your right. Family. You know, this is a year of victory. That's right. Right. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is a year of victory. If you decide That's right. Nothing or anyone can defeat you right. except you. That's, That's right. right. I'm That's just going to share a person. No weapon formed against you That's can right. prosper. All right. No. All right. My sponsor, great team, great people, my wonderful wife Susie, who supports me all the way through travel through a lot of things, and uh, been recognized by Inside National Bond World and others, but I humbly accept that. You guys are all great. If you're competing, hit this stage, you are a winner. Trust me. It takes a lot to get up here. Yeah. You don't know until you get there, because a lot of people start but they don't finish. You know, and this is about finishing it. Finishing the race of life. Yeah. You may not finish here, but let's finish the race of life. And uh, last, always, not least, praise and honor to my Lord and Savior. Yeah. Truly, yeah. praise my Lord. Without uh, Him, I can do nothing. And anything that you see is worth everything that we talk to Him. So everything we need, I'll still have the greatest gift of all, which is my life that He's given me. So thank you guys so much. Yeah. Yeah.